transported and be sent to Botany Bay. Here was the answer to Britain's crowded jails. Australia, a fresh claim for England, a new settlement for its convicts. A huge continent at the other end of the earth, considered empty land, despite compelling evidence that it was not. I've got to tell you, this is where life on earth started. These are my family's yards. This was Tucker, this was a place to stay, this was a place to meet, this was a place to have robberies. When James Cook dropped anchor there, my family went out, they got in their bark canoes, went out and went around his boat, come back in and kept, kept fishing. So there was no problem to us, and that's what we were like. We were, we were pretty friendly fellas. When James Jimmy Cook come in here, put his foot there, and our mob come down, and when he pulled the guns out, our mob had no chance. So they just humped, threw a few spears and dumped it back in the bush. If we, we come out the bush now, we'll have double barrel boomerang, brother. We'd fix him, don't worry. We wouldn't miss him next bloody time. Most of us have heard about Captain James Cook's landing at Botany Bay in 1770. Is there any of an ambush? But lesser known is the area's indigenous history. The stories of the Aboriginal people whose ancestors first met Cook. These are the stories of the Timbery family. They've lived in this place called Gurawal for generations, making and throwing boomerangs on this same patch of ground. 